Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the BitRise token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you step by step everything that you have to do in order to purchase this token. But before we get started, I just want to remind everyone that I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on this channel, showing you guys things how to buy, how to sell, and more. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel. Anyhow, we're just going to head over to Trust Wallet first off. And I'm just going to let you guys know I'm not going to show you guys how to create your wallet or how to buy or transfer BNB in this video. If you guys need to learn how to do either of those two things, I'll have two tutorials linked in the description and in the comment section for you guys just to go ahead and watch first if you guys need to learn how to do either of those two things. Anyhow, all we have to do now is just add the BitRise token contract address inside of our Trust Wallet. And we can get this contract address just by going over to CoinMarketCap. So if you guys just head over to the link I have in the description over to CoinMarketCap, you will see the BitRise token here. So as you guys see right here, we're just going to scroll down and go over to contracts and click on copy right beside the little contract button. Then we can head back over to our trust wallet. Once we're back in our trust wallets, we can go to the top right of the screen where we see the two lines and two circles. Just go ahead and click on that. Then we can paste the contract address up in this top search. We'll then see the BitRise token right here. So we can just go ahead and enable the token and then click on done. Once we have the token inside of our trust wallet, we can head over to PancakeSwap. So if you just go over to the link I have in the description or in the comment section down below, it'll bring you over to PancakeSwap. So let's head over to that now. Once you're on PancakeSwap here, you just want to go to the top left corner of the screen where you see the three lines. Just go ahead and click on that. Then just click on this little trade drop down menu and then exchange. Once we're in the exchange portion here, we just have to connect our wallets. So we just go to the top right of the screen where we see the connect wallet button. Just go ahead and click on that. And then instead of clicking on trust wallet here, we're actually going to click on wallet connect. Then here we can choose our preferred wallet. So you can use any wallet you would like, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys with trust wallet. So once you click on Trust Wallet here, it's just going to open up in our Trust Wallets again, and then it'll bring up this confirmation screen to connect to PancakeSwap. So we're just going to go ahead and click on Connect, and then head back over to our browser. Once we're back in our browser, we'll know our wallet's connected when we see the little wallet icon in the top right of the screen, as well as the balance of BNB above BNB right there. For whatever reason, if you guys don't see your balance of BNB right here, you just got to make sure that your BNB is in your Smart Chain wallet. If you guys have BNB in your BNB wallet on Trust Wallet, just go over to your BNB wallet, click on More, and then click on Swap to Smart Chain to transfer it all over to the Smart Chain so you're able to see it inside of PancakeSwap. Anyhow, once you have your balance there, you just want to click on Select a Currency and then paste the BitRise token contract address in here from CoinMarketCap. Then we can just click on Import, I understand, and then Import. Once we have our two tokens in here, we just have to make sure our slippage tolerance is on 12%. So to change our slippage tolerance, we just want to go over to this little settings gear, click on that. Then right here, we can change our slippage tolerance to 12%. And then exit out of here. Now, if you guys find a lower slippage tolerance that works for you, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll update the pinned comment. Uh, for me, it's working only with 12% for some reason uh, or higher. So obviously, you want to use the lowest slippage tolerance that you can. But for me, 12% did work. Uh, anyhow, all we have to do now is just type in the amount of BNB that we want to transfer into the BitRise token. So let's just say, for example, I want to do 0 0.2. I could type that in, and then it will show me the amount of the BitRise token I'll get in exchange. Uh, now, if you're happy with what you see here for yourself, you can go ahead and click on Swap, or where it says Insufficient BNB Balance for me. Once you guys click on Swap there, it'll go over to another screen showing you guys your withdrawal fees and your rates and things like that. If you're happy with what you see there, you can go ahead and click on Swap one more time. And then it'll give you a transaction successful notice. Once you get that notice, you could exit out of here and head back into your trust wallet. And your coin should arrive here usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out showing you guys how to buy the BitRise token with Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.